Right, look what I found. Some sort of um, war thing, look out post, look. I've just come through there. I took pictures, I want to do both. There's a nice little seat, look at that beautiful view, look. I've got a feeling that's Dunkery Beacon up there. I don't necessarily have to do Dunkery Beacon, I'm not... That isn't a mission, because I've done it before. There's a gate there, I should be okay, and there's a gate over there, but there's horses. But there's a gate down there as well. So I've got options as the tide is coming in, but you can't see it. And do you know why? Look at this big dip. In a minute, this will be a gully full of water. Already the spray is coming up down there from the sea. I can hear it, but it's still quite quiet. But it's going to come over there in a Imagine that, how spectacular that would be. It's a video, everyone. Sheila's Adventures in Somerset. I don't even know if there's a way in this place. Let's have a look. Oh, it looks like a Norman Tower, doesn't it? How it's built. Oh yeah, and you can get in as well. Look if I can, hold on. I wonder if this fills up the water. Bet it don't. You imagine soldiers having to be in here. Oh, I expect everyone does their poos in here. It's just a quick look, everyone. Just a quick look. Probably too unhealthy to stay in there too long. <sighs> yeah, I should imagine at high tide, the sea will come surging over the top there. I don't feel like climbing up that at the moment either. No, it's all exploring because when I came here last year, I didn't actually um, walk along here at all. This, I went the other way. I went straight to Porlock Weir on the safe route. The other bit's not, um, you can't get through. Uh, the, the sea's allowed in there to form this marshland. And here's this uh, building. Once again, I'm not quite sure what it is. I'm just hoping those horses will let me get in. There's a bridge there, look. There's a bridge over there I need to get on in a minute. And one way or another, I will. But I'm glad I stayed out a bit longer. Though I've got no jumper, no coat on. I'm feeling quite, rela quite relaxed. And I'm really enjoying this walk. I had a little recce around uh, the village and uh, that's about it really. I, this could have been a kiln, you know. This could have been a kiln. I don't know. Yes, yeah, possibly. There's definitely a fire here anyway. You can tell from the marks on the ceiling. There's definitely a fire here. It's quite a sturdy building, it's had to be, to be able to resist all that. This path there will take you all the way up onto the hill. But I've got to work out the risk of the sea coming in. Yeah, it might have been even further underground, see? But this was definitely some sort of kiln, I reckon it was. I don't know whether you can get inside the top bit, I'm just going to have a look. I've only been here a couple hours and I'm already exploring everyone. I can hear that sea. Oh, it's getting near us, you. Yeah, I don't know how you get in there. You'd probably have to go around the corner. Let me go. Let me go back round. Hold on. Oh, I don't know if there was a way now. No, maybe there weren't. Anyway. Might sit on the way back. I'm going to do one thing. 
There's still a few buildings, but I can see the spray starting to come up over there. These could have been sea defences, some sort of mining, farming. What beautiful view there, and there's that other one over there, look, embedded deeper. That one's embedded deeper. I'm just going to go along to the edge of this field. So there might be another way out yet. I don't know if I don't reckon that they would allow the horses to stay in the field. I'm going to go up there in a minute, everyone. Just want to come to this edge. Just going to come round here a minute. Something just says to you, go round now, Sheol. Okay, so there might be another gate. I know it goes on and on. I know it does. And you, the thing is, I don't want to go all the way up Bosington Hill tonight. Because that's where you'd probably join it up there. I'm just going to go around this bit, in case there's a lane. There could be a lane just laying just there, see? There could be a lane. Of course, I've come about two weeks earlier than last year. So that gives, that gives me another half an hour of light, by the way. This is quite a long video, which I wasn't supposed to be doing. Over and out. I'm over the other side of that big ditch now. Dunkley Beacon up there, Bossington Hill there, and there are some people. So I'm going to walk back this way. Okay, up to where that. I'm going to walk back this way, take some videos of the. Uh, as I walk. So I've taken pictures of these scriptures and going back to that big broad path. This is my first visit here. Oh, no, it's not my first visit. I've been everywhere. I've seen all this from above. But I've walked on here now and uh, oh, it's great. Power of the sea. Reminds me of Brighton when I lived there because that, that had um, like a shingle beach. Not pebble, but like shingle. Yeah, there's plenty of time. I think there's a big broad path up here I'm going to follow. Looks like a spaceship, that doesn't it? It's just been thrown down like a flying saucer. It's filled up with pebbles as well. <sighs> yeah, it's filled up with pebbles. 
Look, you got a whole beach yourself, Jill. It's great, isn't it? Power of the sea. It's beautiful. Right, over and out again. There's Bossington Hill. I don't need to climb. I am going to be climbing down it in a couple of days' time when I do the walk from Minehead along the cliffs when it's less windy. Tomorrow I'm going inland. I'm going in to the hills tomorrow to find St. Piero Church. That's what I'm doing tomorrow. I've got two other, and then I'm going another walk I'll be doing. It's from Colbone across to something called Sugarloaf Hill on the way to Lynmouth. Um, I'm going to do a big circular walk there. Now, I'm not, these are, I've got to get up early for all these because these, some of these are six hours for normal people. So you can add on... You can add on eight hours for me, can't you? You can put, uh, uh, have eight hours for me. <laughs> if not nine, so I need to get up early. Anyway, events in the world. Boris Johnson and his prorogation of Parliament has been seen by High Court judges in England and Scotland as being an illegal way to try and get us out of the EU in an illegal way by stopping the opposition, Labour, all the other people, I've said it right from the beginning, it was wrong to silence Parliament at this very important time. I've been quite angry about it, actually. I've been following it day and night for the last two weeks. He went, when Parliament was suspended the other night, it was, it was an awful silence. But this grinning, arrogant... Oh, God, he's terrible. And, and the people that support him. They've done something terribly illegal. And we all knew it. We all knew it. It was a blatant way to try and gain access. It was blatant. Everyone said it. Such silly things. And the Queen gave permission. She should have been more informed herself. But of course, they're all in it together. Anyway, it's got to go to Supreme Court because apparently they written Parliament should be recalled immediately. It's such a serious situation. They're now saying Parliament should be recalled and it's suspension lifted because this is a very important thing. Um, we've got all these scaring documents telling us how awful it's going to be. As soon as we leave Europe, it's going to be absolute mayhem, like a war situation. Not war, but food shortages, petrol. It's going to be chaos, and this man can't wait for it to happen. He's a nasty person. Anyway, that's enough of that. Be all over the news. Today's date is the 11th of September, 2019. And about 18 years ago, on this day, it... 9-11 uh, happened in New York where the towers were brought down and 3,000 people at least killed. So in their memory, I'm going to turn off now. I'm in a place of peace up here. But we've ne we'll never forget that day. I'll never forget what I was doing at the exact time when I seen one plane crash into the side of one of the towers. I couldn't believe what I was watching. I thought it was a film. I really did. I'd come down to make a cup of tea. I was doing my MSc and just finishing off the work for the dissertation. I came down. I was leaning against the doorway waiting for the kettle to boil. And we are, in those days, we always had the telly on downstairs. I thought, well, this is a weird film, you know. And I realised it was real. They kept the cameras rolling. I could see people hanging out the windows. People falling. All right, right, folks. That's the end of that now. Over and out for a minute.